of. Today the video is going to be based on backpacks and what to take when you go travelling. We all have different requirements, but this is my opinion. Um, I have backpacked New Zealand, Australia um, and Southeast Asia, so this is kind of hot kind of climate backpack packing. The first thing I'm going to say, probably more so for girls, is that we always always overpack. Even if you think you're really good at packing, you're probably still overpacking. What backpack do you take? Again, opinions will vary, but I would say between 55 and 75 litre backpack. The one I took with me to Australia was a 60 litre Berg House backpack, and I will link it below for you guys. Um, it has one big main storage compartment, and then at the bottom you have a separate compartment which you can access with a separate zip. Um, on the side you have two compartments as well, which is where I kept my flip-flops um, and my sandals, um, and then you've got lots of straps and lots of ties to hang things Things off and tie things onto. And there's also a waterproof um, cover that stores in the top and you can pull that over. If you've already been looking online for a backpack you've probably found they're quite expensive and um, you know they can range up to 150 200 pounds. You don't actually need one that's that expensive unless you're doing you know backpacking in extreme conditions or you know that you're going to invest in one that's going to last you a long long time if you're planning lots more adventures. Sportsdirect.com is actually a place that you can get cheaper backpacks um, if you've got a store near you um, or head onto the website and they actually go down to about £25 which is a massive saving. I think they do a lot of carry more bags which is a completely sufficient backpack and I wouldn't say that they are bad at all. So if you're looking to save money, you know, you don't know if you're going to travel again and you don't want to spend 90 quid on a backpack, then head to Sports Direct, have a look, see what you think, um, and if not, you know, have a look, another look online. Okay, so next we need to work out the contents of the backpack. So we're going to start with clothing. Boys, obviously it's not going to be the same for you, but hopefully you can draw a parallel and kind of work out what I'm packing for um, and then pack your own clothes. These are my favourite things when I'm travelling. They are super comfy, so soft. Um, they are thin, so even if it's hot or it's warm, um, they're still a bit airy and breezy. Perfect if you know when you're travelling, if you're on long bus journeys or long long haul flights. When you're in places like Thailand, you might want to go and visit temples. Some places require you to cover up your knees um, and your elbows, so having shorts and crop tops isn't going to do the trick. But these harem pants um, obviously cover up your knees. They fold up super, super, super small. That was really bad rolling, but you can roll them up really, really tight. So they don't take up much room in your backpack. Again, for the temples, a long top is great. Um, something like this I took, which is quite light um, and it's not too, you know, heavy. It's also great if you find that you get a bit sunburnt or, you know, it gets a bit breezy in the evening um, or, you know, on the plane you want to put something light on. Vests, I would say take four or five vests just for everyday wear, a couple of nicer, maybe more patterned tops for the evenings, a pair of super comfy daytime shorts. Although they are denim, and sometimes obviously denim isn't that comfortable in hot countries, um, these are really soft, they're quite thin, um, and then you can also double them up with a nicer top in the evening. I decided to take an extra pair of shorts. When you're wearing the same clothes for like weeks and weeks and weeks and months on end, sometimes you just want a bit of colour or a little bit of life in your clothing. I also took a couple of comfy chuck on things for the day. This one is so comfy, it's like wearing pyjamas. I chucked it on when I'm going to the beach um, or you know going down to the pool. I then had another one that was maybe slightly more dressy for the evenings. One hoodie um, or light jumper and for the plane journeys or for bus journeys um, or for maybe if you get a bit of cold weather. Bikinis or swimwear and um, boys obviously shorts, girls, bikinis, I take about five with me um, just because you know if they're getting washed or if one gets ruined or you lose one um, you've got plenty there. In terms of underwear and socks I always go to Primark or M&S um, and get one of their deals just get a pack of plain white or plain black um, briefs, boxers, whatever you want to take um, and then socks so like trainer socks um, for maybe the hiking and the walking. As for shoes, obviously it depends what kind of adventure you're going on and whether you're going to be doing loads of hiking or whether you're going to be doing loads of sunbathing. Um, but what I took with me, one pair of flip-flops, I will link them below, one pair of Converse or trainers. I took Converse when I went to Thailand. Um, the only time I wished I bought proper trainers was when I did a trek in Chiang Mai. So if you think you're going to do a lot of trekking, um, definitely take a pair of trainers as opposed to Converse because I got a couple of blisters. But again, if you're going to be doing a load of hiking, 
training um, and you might want to take some hiking boots or some really really good trainers obviously shoes take up room and weight um, weight you can't really get around but shoes um, you can actually tie to the outside of your backpack um, to save room on the inside a pair of nice sandals they're actually from Primark they were six pounds just something to change into in the evening next up what toiletries do you want to take it's best to get the mini versions of things so as you can see here I've got a mini deodorant a mini hairspray and another mini hairspray. You don't need hairspray, but I didn't have any other minis to show you. Why? Um, because you don't want to carry around those of weight with you, um, and you can always buy things like that along the way, no matter what country you are, or no matter how far away you are from everything, there will usually be a shop with those main essentials. Sun cream is also a good one to take. Some places, if you like good stuff, or you have a particular brand, um, they can be very, very expensive to get when you're abroad. Something I've never done, but a lot of people do, is take a mini washing liquid, so that you can hand wash your stuff in sinks. Um, I know in Thailand there's literally laundrette places everywhere and they wash your clothes really really cheap so I didn't do it there when I was in Australia I think I borrowed a bit of my traveling partners um, or just used a bit of shampoo um, or got hold of a washing machine at some point and just did one big wash jungle spray or some kind of anti bug spray facial stuff is another really important thing for me when I go away traveling because particularly if you're in a hot country you're gonna be using sun cream you're gonna be sweating if you go on treks and um, you know you're gonna get hot and if you're in the middle of nowhere you're gonna get dirty um, and even if you're on a long bus journey and you stop off for a toilet break it's nice to wash your face it's nice to keep clean a couple of packs of tissues if you're in the middle of a trek in Thailand and you've got no toilet roll I don't know they are just something that comes in really handy oh another thing if you've got a little bit of room um, in your toiletries um, it's always good to take some paracetamol or ibuprofen with you if you want to go the extra mile some people take some anti-sickness um, and some anti-diarrhea stomach stuff it's good to be prepared oh and a hairbrush I use a tangle teaser which I'll link below and um, it's small it's light and it's full of hair <laughs> other things that I found essential when I'm backpacking a big sarong type thing these things are brilliant this is one I got in Thailand I think it was two or three pounds and um, it looks like just a big rug thing um, but it doubles up as so many things and um, if you go to the beach I lie it down and it's something you can lie on if it's cold on a bus or transport um, I tied it round me as a little bit of cover um, I put it round me when I was sleeping and it's thin it rolls up small um, and it's just super handy in terms of towels you don't want to be taking um, one of your cotton home towels with you the best best thing for traveling is these microfiber towels this is a slightly smaller one you can see the um, this colour is really thin and fluffy um, and they're really lightweight, they dry really quickly um, and again they roll up really small. I have a really, <laughs> hit myself in the face, I have a bigger one in here um, which is literally like five, five times the size of this one um, but it rolls up that small um, and again you can tie it to the outside of your backpack or just place it, um, it's really compact just on top. These work perfect when I was travelling, um, I can't fault them, I will link them both below in case you need to get one. A mini backpack, in the daytime you won't be lugging your massive backpack around with you, you'll leave it in a locker or at the hostel or in your room, but obviously you're going to take maybe a camera, a um, bottle of water, beach towel, snacks for the day um, and that is where this comes in. These are a little bit more expensive, they're really really hard wearing, really good quality um, and they're also waterproof. Um, so I just invested. Personally, I can go travelling without a little mini backpack as well. I also take with me a small bum bag. You can fit your phone in there. It was great for me to just pop my GoPro in there, your passport, any money, and just little bits for the day. Travel adapters, depending on where you're going, obviously have a look online and see which travel adapter you need. You will need one because we all have phones and we all have cameras and we all need to charge them. I'm sure you'll be taking a camera um, and therefore you'll be taking camera um, or electronical equipment. I take a little Tupperware box like this. I like to keep things organized in my backpack um, keep it separate and obviously keep it tight away from any water getting in plastic bags be it a, a supermarket bag or a bin bag or these super fancy vacuum bags that people have um, they're great to separate out your clothing um, and your items in your backpack because sometimes you won't have been able to wash something but you've got to you know pack your stuff up and get to the next place so it's good to keep your wet stuff separate your dirty stuff separate and your clean stuff separate what camera do you take there are so many cameras and there definitely is no right answer but one that is really really popular is the GoPro. They are 
amazing cameras. It's so small, it doesn't take up any room. The quality is amazing, the video is amazing, the photos are amazing. You can get attachments, you know, they go on your chest, they go on your head. Um, if you're doing a skydive, you know, you can have it attached anywhere and it creates the most amazing, amazing footage. On my channel, I have got GoPro footage from New Zealand, Australia, Amsterdam, etc, etc. Um, and you can see what it's like before you buy it. I will link it below. If you've got the money or you've got a birthday coming up, it's such a good thing to invest in. Last things to remember, some people take their backpacks in hand luggage. Um, and if you do so, remember that you can only take the mini liquid amounts. Um, so make sure that you've accounted and checked what you can take in your hand luggage. Don't feel the need to jam pack your backpack so you can't physically fit anything else in there. You might want to buy clothes along the way or buy souvenirs and it's great to just have a little bit of space. And also, the less weight the better because you will be carrying it around in your back and it will get heavy and you will wish that you hadn't bought so much with you. I think I've covered most of the stuff that I took in my backpack and stuff that you need. Maybe I've forgotten something, I probably have um, and if I have I'm sure I'll remember when I'm editing and I will write it up here like now if I've forgotten something. If you guys think there's something that I've missed and that you really think is essential, write it in the comments below um, and just use the space below in the comments to, to chat with each other and share ideas and, and discuss. If you know someone that's going travelling um, and they don't know what to pack in their backpack, um, then send them a link to this video, share it on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up um, and if there's anything else, if there's any other videos you'd like me to do, um, I'm keen to do a few more travel videos so pop, pop the suggestion in the comments below um, and I will see you guys again soon. These are the best days of all.